The IPTV analyzer in the HD Ranger 2 allows us to test any multicast IPTV stream and analyze and decode the services within, as long as the IP stream carries an MPTS or SPTS, multi program transport stream or single program transport stream. In order to activate this tool, we need to open the terrestrial and satellite band settings menu by short pressing the preferences button. Here we will choose the IP signal source. Besides, we need to set up a suitable IP address for our instrument and the right subnet mask used in the network we are connecting to. With that objective, we enter into the preferences menu by long pressing on the installation folder button and go to the network tab. In case the IP address assignment is being handled by a DHCP server in the network where we are connecting the instrument to, we can set up the DHCP option to ON. The version for the IGMP protocol used by the router in the network can be set up here as well, or we can disable the use of this protocol by the meter. While using the meter as an IPTV analyzer, the spectrum analyzer, measurement and TV mode keys let us access to different screens showing information about the IPTV services. The IP measurement mode 1 out of 3 provides us with the following information. Usage of the meter's buffer. Transport stream bitrate. MDI, media delivery index. The delay factor, which indicates the maximum amount of time a packet waits in the buffer before being released. Media loss rate. The higher this number, the worse the overall viewing experience, and it can only be displayed in RTP traffic. Percentage of the equipment resources devoted to handle the current IP traffic. Number of IP packets received. Number of RTP missing packets. Number of packets fixed by the forward error correction algorithm. An indicator to show whether the reception of IP packets is stable or not. Total bitrate in the network. Number of packets with errors and IP packet error ratio. If we press again the measurement mode key, we will go to the IP measurement mode, 2 out of 3, where we can see most of that previous information plus the decoded picture for the multicast address selected. In the IP measurement mode, 3 out of 3, we are shown some additional data such as the Ethernet speed for this link, IGMP version used, whether any forward error correction algorithm is being used or not, the forward error correction value for row and columns, and transport stream packets per IP frame. When we move to the TV mode, we find here two sub modes. TV 1 out of 3 is just showing the decoded picture for the multicast service while TV 3 out of 3 is showing different metadata about the video and audio programs as well as for the service itself. Finally, the Spectrum Analyzer key will let us access to two different plots displaying the quality for the IP multicast reception. Interarrival packet time shows the IP packet percentage as a function of time between packets. Its purpose is to check for reception packet continuity for the selected stream. Usually, the graph should concentrate around small time values. Spreading through the time axis may point to a network problem. Maximum interval measure shows the maximum time detected between consecutive IP packets. By pressing F4, we can change the span of time shown in the plot. Packet rate over time. This graph shows the number of IP packets being received from the current multicast stream over time. By pressing F4, we can change the graph resolution.
Pressing the F1 key, multicast, a menu rolls up, allowing you to choose the specific multicast address and UDP or RTP port to be listened to. The meter will automatically identify whether the protocol used is RTP or UDP. The meter will list the most recent multicast addresses selected and will automatically identify all the multicast stream addresses in the network along with their bit rates. If there are any IGMP version 3 server sources validated by the user to receive multicast streams, they will be listed here as well. By pressing F2, the IPTV key, a list of IP parameters is displayed. Ethernet speed, IGMP version, multicast address, protocol, FEC status, and transport stream packets per IP frame. The key F3 tools give us access to advanced testing IP tools. Here we can select any service within a received multicast program transport stream, activate the transport stream analyzer, record transport stream received after IP de-encapsulation, record just one service from a multi-program transport stream, view a log including all network events regarding protocols IGMP, ping, ARP, DHCP and also Ethernet link detection, date, hour and a description for the event is shown. This log can be exported to a USB pendrive. Access to the IP Ethernet Frame Viewer. In this feature, when the user presses F2 Capture, the meter captures an Ethernet packet that belongs to the multicast stream being received. Information of this packet is shown as a tree that can be unfolded to show header data of each protocol available, Ethernet, IP, UDP and RTP, and the related content from their fields. Ping and delay measurements. The meter can send pings to other devices in the network. You can set up the number of pings to be sent and the range of addresses you send them to, counting from the initial IP address defined in the upper field of the screen. Trace route packets can be sent to, for which the same settings are allowed. Finally, the AVG packet delay IPDB option let us send 10 ping packets to a desired address and the following measurements will be calculated. IP delay variation, also called jitter, and the mean IPTD, also called average packet delay. Last tool is the task planner, which activates the task planner feature in the IPTV analysis.